know our uh, first guest as the immortal Dr. Meredith Grey on Grey's Anatomy, which is now in its 18th season. That means it's finally old enough to vote and smoke. You can watch new episodes Thursday nights here on ABC. Please welcome Ellen Pompeo. <laughs> for you because the last time I was in my living room in my pajamas. That's right. The appearance just wasn't the same. I know, it's not the same, is it? You know what would be great with that? Hair tinsel. Do you have any of that? <laughs> no, but your friend does. Hi, happy birthday. <laughs> you, um, yeah, I do want to mention the last time you were here because something happened the last time you were here and at the time I didn't realize it, but now looking back, it's very funny to look at. What was it? I don't remember. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what happened. Okay. Okay, so... Um, on the show, it was the night of the show, you were here, and Meredith Grey had uh, collapsed in a parking lot. Oh, goodness, And not then again. woke up to this vision of McDreamy, of Patrick Dempsey was there, right? Yeah. And then we talked about uh, that, and then I made a prediction <laughs> that um, it, it, your reaction seemed odd to me at the time, but now I understand it because my prediction, which was a secret, was exactly right. Let's take a look. Maybe you're in a coma or something like that. Wouldn't that be, would you like that if you got to be just in a coma and sleep for like half a season? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I hit on it there. I don't know. I did hit on it there. You did. You did. I, and, and at the time, you're like, oh no. Wow. I was finally right about something. That's so exciting to me. <laughs> Let's tell Molly. So now I have a question about how it works behind the scenes, because mm -hmm. now you're in a coma for almost the whole season, right? It wasn't half the season. It's almost the whole season. Do you have to lay there in all the scenes? Do you like come to work and lay there? No. No. No, they built, they made a doll, which I actually got in big trouble for like tweeting. I tweeted about the doll and then I got in big trouble and I had Why? to like, take got... the tweet down. Because they, you know, they said, you're ruining the illusion for the audience. And I said, the audience can't possibly think that's me. And because what would happen? So it's this latex doll. And have you ever had the, you know, a cast made? Yeah, I did have that done once, yeah. It's brutal. I mean, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's uncomfortable. So they basically yeah. just cover your head in latex and paper mache, and it feels like it lasts forever. Straws up your nose. Yeah, it's yeah. terrible. But I think that what happens is with the lights and the heat over time, that latex degrades. Oh. And so the doll kept looking worse and worse. <laughs> And so, like, I don't know, by whatever episode it was, I was like, it's starting not to look like me. At first, it looked really, like, it was scary. I couldn't uh -huh. even look at it. It was crazy. Yeah. And then it just starts looking worse and worse, like, Meredith's not looking so good. <laughs> I was like, that's a doll. That's not me. I'm gorgeous. The doll. In their defense, though, <laughs> if, if a person is in a coma, it's not like they get better looking along the way. <laughs> yeah. I know, I know, well. but, you know, it's a, I'm an actor, my ego. Yeah. <laughs> and what became of the doll? Do you have it? I don't know. No, I don't oh. have it. I'm sure it's, you know. Be fun for Halloween. You could have a lot of fun with that thing. <laughs> Kids I, open the I door. Would... Ah, you fall right out. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, you might want to get that. My kids might be scarred for life. But, yeah, well, that's yeah. their problem. It's probably you him. <laughs> so now I want to make a prediction for uh, this season. Okay. All right? Yes. And I'm going to be watching you very closely. I bet. Um, you, I predict Meredith Grey will get married this season. And I'm going to add to Kanye West. <laughs> Playing himself. <laughs> A lot of people think this is going to be your last season. Do they? Yeah, and I think you added fuel to that fire. Do I? Yeah, you did, I don't and I'll ever tell you add why. Fuel to any fire. And this is this says a lot about a lot of different people, but I'm gonna just you tweeted what this actually. Mean, what? This is some, something someone found. Someone named Carol said, "I'm crying because she noticed that you're wearing in, in the show the same shirt last night that you're wearing in the pilot of the show." Is it the same shirt? Or does it just look like that? And that shirt kind of looks a little bit like this shirt, too, so maybe there's something being added here. It, it, it is the same shirt. It is the same it is, shirt. Yeah, yeah. They hung on to the shirt, or they got a new one? 
I think they hung on to it. I wow. think all that stuff is property of ABC Studios. Uh -huh. They own us. Yeah, well, in your case, <laughs> with that doll. You too, but, oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> I think We're they just the have my boat, head, my which is worse, yeah. <laughs> so, um, does this mean something? Other than that Carol was completely crazy. <laughs> no, actually we did, um, it's very specific idea, it was my idea, to uh, pay homage to ah. many things in many different seasons and to give the audience things to watch out for. Oh, you're getting sentimental. Is that what's happening? Yeah, I'm not Is sentimental Is there a reason for that? That interesting. <clears throat> wow. Um, but but they, it's working because they're, they're seeing things. Yeah, so. this woman, Carol, though, I mean, <laughs> gee, she's, like, she should be, like, along with Dog the Bounty Hunter on that search right now, right? <laughs> Because this is quite an eye that it, she has. It, it really is. It's it's quite an eye. Is I have Carol to say. a real person or did you plant that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Okay. All right. But it's crazy that it's you know what's funny is most uh, some of the Easter eggs, you know, it was Oh, there's I, more. Okay, well, good. Yes. And I've come up with the idea, and so I even look for them because it was just my idea. I didn't. I didn't necessarily say let's do this and this. I wasn't specific about it. Okay. So when that shirt showed up on my wardrobe um, rack, I said, "Is this the same shirt?" You and, remember and the was. shirt? Yeah, I did. I remembered the shirt, which is rare because I don't remember much. Uh huh. Wow. And, uh, so and you so, don't even know what the Easter eggs are going to be? No, I don't. So we will rely on Carol for that. Okay, Carol. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Ellen Pompeo is with us, Grey's Anatomy. Thursday nights here at ABC. We'll be back. Ellen Pompeo is here. And the air, oh, the room is suddenly smells like tomatoes because, it does. Tell, now tell us what's going on here exactly. Okay, so yeah. I'm a big fan of yours. Obviously. Oh, thank you. And a, a fellow Irish Italian. Mm -hmm. And so I saw your pizza making war with Fallon. Yes, we did have, well, yeah, I wouldn't just call it a war. Like the Grenada, I guess, technically it was a war, yes, yes. Okay. So obviously your pizza's better. Uh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. But you did say that these are the best tomatoes. These are my friend Chris Bianco, who has a restaurant called Pizzeria Bianco in Phoenix, Arizona, grows these with his friend Rob DiNapoli in Central California. And not only do I say they're the best tomatoes, the New York Times said they're the best tomatoes. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, see, I didn't know that, but okay. I get it a little bit more now. Yeah, okay. But I, too, jar my own tomatoes. And nice. I didn't know about the personal relationship and that you know the source of these tomatoes. Oh, yeah. So, but let's just do a little test. Okay. Because I don't grow these tomatoes. I buy oh. them from a farmer. Oh, okay. But I do jar them myself. Oh, all right. And I personally think that these will make your pizza even better. Oh. And you can wipe the floor with Fallon once again. Okay, all right. Okay. Well, I feel like he's suffered enough, but I would love to try them. Okay. And you are going to so, give me a blind taste yes. test. So okay. put this all one. Right. All right, good. So now there's no, and I don't, and, and you know, mix them up there so I don't know which one is yes. in which spot. Right, of course. And maybe feed me like a baby. Okay, but, yeah. but what's, okay, these are whole tomatoes and I'm wearing white. So this is. Oh, all right. Well, hold it at your arm's crazy. length then. Um, or, you know, if you really don't want to okay. touch it, Guillermo can I help mean, you. This is a big tomato. This is like, all right. This is crazy. We're doing this is nuts. Okay. I have a very big mouth. It's huge. I could fit my whole fist in it if I need to. Hold on. Open. Open. Oh. <laughs> okay. Do you know what those are? Very good tomato. I'm gonna no I'm no, I'm gonna try both of them. I'll tell you which one I like better. Also a very good tomato. Okay, which is better? Now I'm going to say the second one is maybe salted in the jar. Is it? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's an unfair um, thing, but <laughs> I like the first tomato better. Oh! What did I? I'm taking my tomatoes back to oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm glad my, I'm glad my tongue stood with me in, in that. <laughs> 
<laughs> little battle there. All right, okay. well, there you go. Well, okay, so your friend wins. Yeah, yeah, I mean, listen, you didn't grow those anyway. You put them in a jar. What's the big deal? <laughs> it's true, it's true. Okay, okay, all right, you And win. people can't get those. You, unless, do you sell those? No. no. Oh, all right. Well, they were, they were really good. Okay. Yeah, thanks. they were very good. Yeah, sorry, thanks. I didn't mean to ruin it. For no, you. no, that's okay. Now I don't have to give you any. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can keep them for oh, myself. I want to mention your podcast. Yes. Can you imagine what is me? The, with, what is the premise of your podcast? Me with a microphone is dangerous to uh -huh. say. Um, the premise of the podcast is just, you know, I, I feel like I have so many young women who are my fans. Same here. And <laughs> do they chase you down and cry and chase you down the street and ask you things? They cry sometimes, but it's not usually for good reasons. Here. I think, you know, just like the opening of your show, everything is so negative and nasty and we're yes. so divided. And I wanted to just find a way to use my platform and put something positive out there for young women who follow me or look up to me. Just something for them to listen to and get guidance and advice and hear good stories. The podcast is called Tell Me. Uh-huh. Um, and I just want to hear people tell you stories. You have guests on the show? Yeah. Oh, you have guests and everything. Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, maybe you can get Chris Bianco on the show. He'll tell you how to make um, tomatoes. What a, okay. <laughs> It's not nice. I know it's not. Nice. No one ever said I was nice. Um, well, it's good to see you. It was nice Your to tomatoes see you too. are delicious. I don't want to Thank diminish you. them in any any way. They're just not, you know, they're they're a solid number two. Right. <laughs> uh, Ellen Pompeo, everybody, listen to her podcast and watch her on Grey's Anatomy Thursday nights on ABC. We'll be back with Henry Winkler. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and this is the Internet. I made it myself. Hit subscribe if you like it.